Joining me now is Michael Weaver with Group 46. Welcome, Michael. We're so happy to have you with us today. Thank you, Jenny. It's always nice to be here. So you're the creative director for Group 46. And for those of us who aren't familiar with Group 46, tell us a little bit about what you do. Group 46 is a full-service digital marketing agency, and we're located at the crossroads in Old Town Bluffton. Okay, and you know we're talking a lot today about brands, you know, about finding your brand and, and how to execute your brand. But you know what what the root of that is really is is what you call brand essence, right? Yeah. So how do you discover your brand, or what is a brand essence to begin with? Let's start there. Well, Jenny, to begin with, the, a brand essence is the best true thing you can say about your company or your product or your development or your service. The best true thing you can say. Okay, and so how would one go about discovering their brand essence? Well, there are several disciplines and processes that we've become familiar with over many years of our, of our prior experience before Group 46. Mm -hmm. uh, but rather than spelling out the processes, I, I once said on my own consulting website that if you see somebody's planning process on, on the web, right. that's probably where they found it too. Okay. So rather than spelling out the processes, uh, let me just say what they're aimed at getting at. Perfect. The internal part of brand essence consists of getting a good fix on your personality and your product and your values. Okay. And companies are usually pretty good at finding those once they are walked through those questions one at a time. Mm -hmm. But the key thing is relating that brand essence to the outside world. Right. And for that, we have processes des designed to find out what is the key issue leveraging your sales or preventing your sales. Okay, and so why do you think brand essence is so important? Well, differentiating from the competition is even harder today than it was in, in years past. I absolutely uh, agree with that, yeah. Digital marketing tends for a number of reasons to level the playing field. Okay. As branding people, we don't want a level playing field. We want a playing field that's tilted in our brand's direction, and so we have to create content that makes that uh, distinctive okay. and non-comparable to the competition. Obviously, working with anyone about something as personal as their brand or their company or their message, you're going to bump into obstacles, right? Even if, even if it's us. So what is the greatest obstacle that, that you think impedes this process? Oh, thanks, Jenny. Without a doubt, the greatest obstacle we see today between people and effective branding is the tendency to do what we call cataloging. Okay. There is a great temptation to try to say everything. Yes. And digital communications appears to facilitate that because all you have to do is click through to another page and you can just go on and on and on. Right. Also, people can tend to pile a number of short messages into one web page or one digital communication with the illusion that those are all getting across. Okay. The communication is essentially two-way, and if people are overwhelmed by it, or if people don't know which point to choose, right. then you haven't communicated at all. It's so cataloging is an illusion, and okay. we, we try to encourage people to um, step away from saying everything and find the most effective, leverageable, differentiating things to say. Perfect. Well, and you're obviously experts at what you do, and if they need assistance, they can reach you, right? Contact information is on the screen. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Jenny, for having us.